Hey everybody, I'm here with my vinyl update. I have a mega haul. I wasn't planning on it, but uh, it uh, worked in my favor. So here we go. We'll start with Salvation Army to store finds. James Taylor and the original Flying Machine on Springboard Records. Trailer. Bobby Vinton, Encore. Has water damage, but the record's nice. Al Martino, Spanish Eyes. Nice shrink. Easy to find, but just really nice upgrade. Paul Anka, I think that's a Pickwick, yeah. The New Seekers comes softly to me. It's without, this is without Judith Burnham. I don't know how that's going to sound. Uh, play Guitar Play, Tom, um, uh, yeah. Conway Twitty, jeez, still in the shrink. The Moody Blues, Every Good Boy Deserves, what is it, Favor? I see I, I'm not familiar with them a lot, so deserves favor. This album's in okay shape. Like I said, I don't know much about this one. I've seen it. Haven't listened to it yet. So it's on the list. So, uh, 38 Special. El Martino. Think I'll go somewhere and cry myself to sleep. Alright. Now this is a new store that I found. And uh, the couple's very nice and they cut me some slack on some of these, so that's awesome. Uh, Elvis Costello, Veronica, which I, I love this song, and always remind me of Paul McCartney. Well, of course, he uh, co-wrote the song. Go figure, huh? And they worked together that same year, so. <laughs> uh, that'll be the day, the crickets on Brunswick. Uh, this isn't in perfect shape, but I uh, thought it was awesome just the same. Uh, the song's good too. I'm looking for someone to love. Great song. Not perfect, but you don't usually see it. Uh, I only had the sleeve to this, so this is nice. I Hate Myself for Loving You, Joan Jett. And uh, this next one is a Canadian promo of Under African Skies by Paul Simon. And uh, I Know What I Know, which is another favorite of mine and my girlfriend loves. Um, both songs, really. The whole album. Those are the 45s from that shop. Uh, German pressing of The Goings Great, Sammy Davis Jr. Love the artwork. I've already listened to this album. Fantastic sound. Can't go wrong for a German press. Sorry for the sound. Glenn Campbell's Golden Greatest box set. I will show this real quick. I, I love the box. Beautiful box here. This folds down. And it has a nice booklet. And then there's your, your records, which are in beautiful shape. If you know me, I'm a huge Glenn Campbell fan, so this was exciting to find. This was a big surprise. This is the first time I've ever found this in the wild, and it is The Monkeys Pool It. Um, I love the song Heart and Soul. Hadn't heard the other songs on here. The whole album is really great. Uh, really awesome to have. Dire Straits. Straits. Brothers in Arms. This has Walk of Life on it. The whole album's great. James Taylor, Sweet Baby James. Snoopy vs. the Red Baron, the Royal Guardsman. This is the first time I've ever seen this album in person. Uh, the sound's okay on this. It doesn't look scratched, but the record is like a weird... Um, it's a weird wax. I don't know how to explain it. It's been cleaned several times. There really isn't any scratches on it. It just sounds a little... Uh, sound quality isn't super great. But, uh, just the same. I love this song. Uh, this album by George Jones is kind of hard to find. Mr. Country and Western Music. Uh, they had it. I had the cover. Uh, the record was bad. Now, this record's really nice for its age. Uh, good album. Flowers from Amazon. I think that this, the uh, selfishness in man's great. Even the bad times are good. Great artwork of George there. 
Another sh shocker of the monkeys. Instant replay. Always see this beat up. Uh, this is in really nice shape. Oh, very exciting. Same with this one. The monkey's head. Cover's really nice. Um, the record on this, uh, it took several cleanings, but, uh, you know, it's a, it's very good plus. It's, it's really nice compared to what I usually see it. So, and the binding's not bad either. Original slave. And George Jones, The Battle and Shrink. I've never seen this album on Epic Records. Okay. Next is my local consignment shop. Like I said, they charge a quarter a piece, and I have really, I really do have quite the stack here. Um, there's two different days that I went. Let me pick those out now. So here's the first day. And yes, I did get this album, Lionel Richie, Can't Slow Down. Uh, I like All Night Long. I mean, there's some great songs on this album. Night Ranger. John Cafferty, uh, I haven't heard him before, but I figured I'd pick it up for a quarter. Roger Daltrey from The Who. Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers Live, two album set. Now I have the sealed, but I was waiting to find a open copy. And this is all the ones that I'm going to show you now from my local consignment shop. This is what they look like. So I'll do that to save a little bit of time. I might show a couple. And The Grateful Dead. In the dark. Now I love this because it's touch of gray on it. Um, I have the single, but uh, I love every song on this album. So I will show this one. I love the label on this. Okay. Peter Paul and Mary. Same with this one. Easy finds. Carol King, Rhymes and Reasons. Uh, really nice upgrade of Fleetwood Mac Rumors. Beautiful cover, vinyl, everything. Get Lucky by Loverboy. The Police. This is a really nice upgrade. Super Tramp. Like I said, um, these were all at my local shop, so Duke, Genesis, thought I had this, but I don't, so that's awesome. Nice upgrade of Spirits Having Flown, the Bee Gees, even I found the fan club sheet inside, so another upgrade, and then there were three, Genesis. I'm doing pretty good timing wise here. Some of my favorites are coming out. Pat Benatar. Oh no! Dream Police, Cheap Trick. Upgrade of the Cars. Thirty Eight Special. And Thirty Eight Special again. Double Vision, Foreigner. Foreigner again. Departure Journey. This is still in the shrink. Uh, Boston. This is a beautiful upgrade. This is actually original. My other one that was in my previous video is a reissue. This is my original here. We'll show that. Uh, mine had ring wear. Same with uh, my old copy of Boston's first album. This has like no ring wear. This is really beautiful. I never see this album looking this great. Um, same with the vinyl. Awesome upgrade. Still, like, uh, here's my old copy. Just a big difference. So, that'll probably go in the art sale. Triumph. I don't have any by them, so it's good to try them out. Sticks. The Grand Illusion. Sticks again. And the Shrink. 
last stack. Um, Electrolyte Orchestra, Out of the Blue, double album. I actually still have this on the turntable. It just ended as I uh, was doing this video. And they just look beautiful. I was so shocked. I wasn't there for uh, most of these. Mine's been trash forever, but Ario Speedwagon High Infidelity. Finally, uh, just a minty copy. Just amazing. The sound quality is fantastic. I actually didn't have to do any cleaning to these albums, which is awesome. Kiss Destroyer. Um, the artwork. The I always see this with Ring Wear and Destroyed too. Perfect sleeve. Uh, the vinyl is. See, I gotta show some of these just because I'm so excited about them. It's just gorgeous. So it's nice. I had gotten rid of my Kiss collection because they were beat. So this is nice. Um, this is Queen Jazz. Love Queen. I used to have this one too, but it was beat. So it's nice to have that back in the collection. News of the World. This is an upgrade. Uh, a huge upgrade. Uh, covers minty. And same with the, the vinyl. Kansas. Point to No Return. Love that album. Um. My other one's a promo, so it's nice to, to have the standard, or they're just a regular non-promo. Journey Escape. Um, I actually Frankenstein this because mine was in the shrink, but this album is just beautiful. Mine had a lot of uh, a lot of butterflies and hairlines. And the last one that I couldn't believe was in there was Led Zeppelin. In through the outdoor, uh, the. the Baggy's really nice. Um, we'll show. Pull this out. You can see that. I don't want to rip the bag. Um, here is the the record. I was just blown away by this collection that came in. Just blown away. And my dad's good friends with one of the workers and. I wasn't even there for this collection. I literally just got this today. Didn't have time to really do any cleaning. Just put them in sleeves. So when I did inspect them, there really wasn't any cleaning. So this came from somebody who uh, really loved their vinyl. Um, I was worried I wouldn't actually have a really good update because, um, you know, I haven't really been, I've had a dry spell. And this, these just kind of came all of a sudden. Um, nothing really, I haven't found any great beetle finds lately, uh, either. So this was, there's enough music here to last me a while. But, um, I hope you enjoyed. Um, I, there's some great new releases coming out. I still need to pick up Flowers in the Dirt, um, from McCartney. And, uh, the new Sgt. Peppers. I'm gonna get the two vinyl, the two LP set. Um, I don't know about the CD set. It's really cool. Um, I do think it's worth the money. Uh, yes, it's a little expensive, but for what you get, you get a lot of uh, material. So I'm excited for this new release. I am kind of pissed off. I The Record Store Day uh, Beatles single, which I really wanted, was just my uncle tried to get me a copy. They had one. Uh, one left out of three copies they got in. My uncle got one. Um, up where my record shop is, they were just, the records were devoured. They didn't even have my Lumineers one that I wanted. So, I could do a whole separate video on Record Store Day, but I'm not going to. So, uh, take it easy everybody. Peace.